<clears throat> Hi guys, uh, today I want to show you how to create several tabs in one single page. Okay, first, first of all, let me show you how it looks like. Uh, so if I click the bug, okay, it will show a form is related to bug. If I click the MB, it's different tab, a different um, tab on the page. Okay, it will show it's different form, which is related to MB. So if I keep uh, submitting record here, just whatever it is, and input the required field, submit, well, you will see a, a pop-up uh, window. If you click the button here, okay, it closed, it appeared. Well, actually, I, you know, it's 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 an ongoing uh, app. I have finished that, but uh, for now, I finished three object objects. Uh, I mean, I control the visible or invisible of three object objects. The first one is the the spec form MB. This is MB. No, this is a form. Related to, related to RMB. This is this is another one, another form related to to, to bark. This one related to bark. And uh, for the pop up uh, window, I used the other one. This is the one. It's a group. Actually, it's a group. I used uh, a rectangle here. Actually, it's a rectangle and a bunch of buttons and levels. So because they, they are now invisible, so you yeah. Uh, but at least you you know uh, I just combine all this stuff into a group so I can control their visibility, right? So for for this fu for this function, I uh, just there are two key points. The first, uh, I just use a global variable to control the visible or invisible, or just realize, realize the, the different tabs. So there are two key points. The first one is is uh, uh, judge the variable's value. The, uh, the other one is change the uh, variable's value. So let me show, show you. Firstly, Judge. Okay, we can see the form. Let's go to the form. Uh, we can see the visible. It's the judge here. So if okay, uh, th this this is the variable I used. If the variable is RMB, RMB here, so the visible will true. For this one, bug. If this global var variable is work this form will be visible true right else it will be false that means it will be in invisible for the pop-up window it's a group right here is the same visible if this global variable is equal this one it will be visible Else it would be invisible. So this is the judge, and the next is change. How where to change this uh, this variable? Uh, actually, uh, I just use button to change the uh, this variable's value. The first place is here submission. Do you remember previously when I finished? When I uh, finish the form, I just click the, the submit button here. So let's look at the, the, this button. There are several steps, but only the last step is related related to, to what I'm talking to, to this demo. I just use this function. It's very important. Remember, use this function. Don't use that. Later, I will tell you the difference between update context and set. Okay, here we use update context 
uh, to change this global variables value to uh, to create a result. That means I will show this this uh, uh, object. So actually, it's uh, yeah, just a ch I will show this the pop up value and there's a pop up window. This is the first place I change the value. Then the other one is um, the other one here. So this is a table, right? Let me show you. This is a table. Actually, update this value. Okay, you can see I uh, update the variable to to uh, the selected items. This product name. So the data table is this one. This is the data table one. Selected means if I just uh, yeah click uh, either one. Uh, then the per type product type. I just so I just use this this columns uh, value as the condition. To, to determine, to judge this variable. So that means I just, uh, if, that means if, if I click buck, so the product type is this column. So that means if I click buck, so the variable will be changed to buck. Then you can see the buck form. If the variable is buck, so it will it will be visible, right? So that means if this be visible, the other form because they are different conditions, right? So they will be false. They will be invisible. Yeah, this is what, what how I realized this function. At last, I want m versus. Uh, the, the, the different to the difference between two functions. One is let me show you one is update context. The other one is set. So both of the two functions can change the uh, the variable's value. But they are there are a lot of difference between them. Okay, so we can see the difference from their name. The update context that means if you after you change this value this variable, the context will be updated. That is to say, if you change this variable, all it, it will trigger all this all of the uh, uh, the actions which are related to this variable. That means if I change this variable, all these steps, you can see their, their judges here, right? If I change the variable from, from this step, all these steps will be triggered to, uh, to control these forms visible or visibility. But if we change this function to set, well, this variable can also be changed to this value. But other actions which are related to the variable will not be triggered. Okay, let me uh, take an exa example. Okay, if I change this function to set, just remember they the use different syntax syntax. So that means they use different format. Okay, let me change set. The set they, actually there's no curve curly uh, bracket and uh, no semicolon. Instead it's a comma and there's no curly bracket. Okay. That's it. Set. Oh, okay. S. Set. 
So let me show you. Okay, so you can see the form doesn't appear. No matter what you click, why? Because you just changed the variable's value. It doesn't trigger it doesn't trigger the, 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 the judgment. It doesn't trigger the judgment here. Because when I when I click this the different items, we just change the variable's value. So for the both the two actions and the, the other actions you can see here, it will not be triggered. So that means they will keep their existing value, their current value. So that's the difference between set, between set and update context. And just remember, use a, a curly uh, bracket, semicolon, not comma, current bracket. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so the MB here, when I click here, you can see it will trigger the, the condition uh, judgment, right? And click here, well, that's it. So I hope um, you could understand what I talked about. So if you, you, if you have any confusions or questions, just leave your comments below. I will try to help. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. See you next time.